have a lot of news, so this is liable to be relatively quick because um, we're more or less in a similar situation to where we were last time, not having released another viewer since then. Uh, we have all the same things in flight. Uh, we seem to be very, 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 very close to releasing Animesh and the Bug Splat viewer. Um, they're kind of racing neck and neck. Actually, I would say Animesh is a little ahead at the moment. So um, if I had to bet, that's the way I'd bet. But uh, fear, do we have? <laughs> I know she does. Um, do we have anything on that that's holding that up that you know? Uh, well, the Animesh issue is purely server side. We had a, a late breaking Jira about uh, land impact getting computed incorrectly, and that is working its way through the uh, simulator release process. Uh, so far, no new you know must fix issues for the animesh viewer so it's just uh it's just waiting on the, the simulator stuff uh, okay Great. i don't know how current people are on the uh udp asset fetch deprecation have we talked about that here recently uh we gave people a heads up about it but let's put that on hold just so that we can run down the other stuff yep. uh we do have um so the the same project viewers that were out are still are still in the pipeline. Um, EEP has been making changes furiously, um, making a lot of progress, but doesn't look as though it's closing in on release channel status quite yet. Um, and uh, yeah, um, and. Uh, there's and the spotty catch viewer has also been getting some updates. Um, the maintenance viewer, so uh, so they're all out there. Uh, unless there are any particular concerns about that, we can we can go on from looking at at the at the viewer releases to um, to the backend changes, the UDP uh, asset fetches changes. All right. Well, let's do that. Do you have an update on that? Uh, well, we'd, we've talked, of, the last time was probably a few months ago, about um, the plans to, to remove the fetching code for uh, getting assets via UDP. Um, currently, it is uh, the the code path in our viewer has been uh, HTTP based for a while for for many asset types, um, starting with textures a few years actually, and uh, so this is just kind of a thing getting the simulator to catch up to that, um, uh, removing some of the old code paths there. Planning to put that out. Uh, the official date is January sixth, um, so. Uh, you know, viewers should be ready for the possibility that it would go away as soon as that. Um, one thing that I, if, if we've discussed this here recently, um, one clarification we've had recently, probably since then, was that this would include texture fetching as well as uh, things like wearables. Um, we hadn't mentioned that in the original announcement. Yeah. So, okay. Um, and uh, we also didn't mention textures, which you should have all switched to doing those with HTTP quite a long time ago. Uh, but we we are liable to also flip that flip that switch so that you can't do textures over UDP either. Um, we're going to try and get the simulators out of the business of delivering files. Altogether, well, 
as much as possible. Um, so that they can have more time for simulating. Uh, but I think that's pretty much, uh, that's good to know, Worley. Thank you. Um, I think that's pretty much the, the ongoing news. Um, so the floor is open. Boss, did you mention uh, Big Sun Mesh? Uh, I didn't get into the specifics there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still a project viewer still out there. Um, and we are getting... We are getting all the, uh, I believe we're now at the point where all the necessary support is on Agni. We're close. Yeah, getting there. The, the remaining piece is getting the um, appearance service updated. So uh, right. last I heard, there was still a bit of uh, bug fixing work going on there, but hopefully not for too much longer. Yeah. So we're, we're trying like crazy to get that get that done um, but the viewer is a little behind the other stuff just because the infrastructure is not in place uh, yeah we will get that set up early um, as soon as we have the build ourselves which we haven't quite got yet so we'll definitely, uh, I'll put a note on the open source dev list when we have that live and tell you where you can, where you can uh, do your testing. <laughs> we'll probably do some testing with our viewer there too, just in case. Any other hot topics you guys want to delve into? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not going to take that bet, Worley. Oh, this might be even shorter than I thought. Okay. Well, thank you all for coming. Uh, oh, I wanted to check on uh, next meeting times. Uh, yes, we will have a meeting on the 16th. And again, on the 30th. Those will not be disrupted, but then will there will only be one in January in it. I'm not entirely sure exactly when, or sorry, only one in December uh, of these, but I don't think the release frequency in December will be that high anyway, because we've got holidays to work around and all that. So, um, so uh, next two meetings are at the regular two-week intervals from today, and then we'll have a little disruption until after New Year's. All right. Okay. Well, I think we're done. Thanks for coming, everybody.